Welcome to Crimson Guitars, welcome to What's on the Bench. No, this is not What's on the Bench. Welcome to Guitar Builders Basics 205. <sighs> Luthiers, tips, tricks and training from me, Ben Crow at Crimson Guitars. What's up, everybody? Okay, um, dense, dense indeed. Uh, OMG, dent on my guitar, how to fix it, dot, dot, question mark, question mark. This is from Ajul Ram. And uh, from Pi, he says, how can I fix a dent and keep the wood feel to my acoustic? Uh, alrighty, I'm, I'm working on, uh, I'm, <laughs> okay, this instrument, I started doing some inlays for a lecture I was giving at a, a, a giant woodworking show, actually, I think, um, where I went with uh, Record Power. That's the one. And uh, I started doing the inlay, and it was cool. And then I got back, and I've got many other jobs on. But uh, at the show, this guitar on the back ended up with a few little dents in it. And uh, I am going to... I'm going to try and avoid touching the soldering iron that I prepared earlier that is now currently hanging off my bench and warm. <laughs> that would be that would be wise. So there are there are several things to bear in mind. Okay. If your guitar is dented, all hope is not lost. Okay. If there are chips and scratches and things like that where actual material has been removed, uh, <clears throat> this method will not work. If you have a thick varnish or lacquer coat over it, this method will not work. <clears throat> if you have an oil finish, this method might work, but you're going to have to put oil on you're going to have to reapply oil, and not just in the area where you've repaired the dent. It will have to be across the whole instrument uh, in order to make it look homogenous. Uh, if you have a patch of new finish and the rest of the guitar is, is old, it looks weird. And uh, we're trying to hide something rather than um, accentuate it. But anyway, the, the trick, as you might have noticed by the fact that I nearly... Um, emasculated myself with a soldering iron uh, is a soldering iron and heat, fire. How many of these things involve heat and fire? I might have a problem here. Do you think I have a problem here? No comment. Okay, um, and that is it. Close up time. And here we go. On the left hand side there is Something that I think might actually not be a dent. I think there might be some material loss. And then on the right hand side of that, uh, there is a dent. And we want to see if we can get rid of that. So damp down the tissue. We don't want it absolutely flooded, if possible. And what we're doing is forcing the steam through And you're going to have to keep on moving it because uh, parts of your tissue, or I suppose you could use cloth on this, will get dry and you do run the risk of burning the instrument. Which would <laughs> create extra problems. Okay, I'm struggling to see what's going on here. And running low on steam. Uh, I'm gonna leave that to dry for a couple of minutes and uh, we'll see what's happened. There's nothing there. There we go. We have, uh, well, there's nothing there. It's, it's both dents have gone. So it was a dent and not a, not a scratch. And uh, 
this works particularly well on raw wood and uh, it is used to repair mistakes that happen uh, during the build predominantly. If you have lacquer, you have to take the lacquer off and then fix the dent uh, or fill in some other way which I'm not going to go into here and now. Uh, thank you for watching. Please click like and subscribe. Please consider supporting our Patreon because that uh, helps keep all of these videos going and keeps the, everything, everything going. Uh, and I really appreciate it. And uh, you also get to see more questions and answers like this. Uh, the 90 hour build is currently the big, big project. I think there's 20 or so episodes of that live, etc. And uh, most importantly, give me questions for Guitar Builders Basics. I need them. I'll see you soon. Cheerio.